Hi, I'm Joseph. In today's video, I want to touch on a bug that people are running into. I don't even know if it's, it's really a bug, but it's an issue. It's a quirk with Flutter that has to do with you using media query uh, in release mode um, in, in the context of you using it as soon as your, your screen is ready. Um, and let me go ahead and just bring up one of the, the many issues that people are reporting about this. Um, <clears throat> so here's one. It says media query context size height returns zero on startup and release mode. Um, and so if you're doing stuff like animations and, and other things, calculations around this, um, it's it's frustrating. And um, some of the responses just don't <laughs> um, don't make any sense. So like this person says, that's because Flutter's uh, quicker in release mode, and then native first actually blah, blah, blah. like yeah, that's expected. Okay. That doesn't really help. And then they close the freaking issue. Um, and, <laughs> you know, they're, they're putting other stuff. It's like, uh, just make your code resilient against zero values. Um, whoever this is, to be honest, like they, they should probably help out a little bit more. Um, but I'm going to show you how to fix this, basically. Um, and it's not, it's not the, um, like a straightforward solution, but it's the way that Flutter is kind of designed to work anyways. So <clears throat> in order for this to work, um, I mean, normally you'd, like, you'd have your, your container stuff that all depends on the values of that, like of whatever this is. Um, you would need to kind of uh, do like a multi-step process to start to, to pull this out. You can still leave these as is, but what we need to do is create a stream that's going to watch this value to like periodically check it every whatever milliseconds that you want to set up. And see if it's greater than zero or not. And if it is, then go ahead and return the, the value that it should. So the first thing we're going to do is actually create the uh, uh, the the, con the consumption to return to future. Um, so the future will, will return a double based off the stream. The stream will get checked um, for the values that are in the source. And if the value is greater than zero, uh, let me see here. So if the value is greater than zero, then go ahead and return the value. And so an example I did here was, you know, it's every 50 milliseconds, 50 milliseconds. So it was like 100 milliseconds, 200 milliseconds, 300 milliseconds, 350 milliseconds. It was waiting before finally a value was greater than zero. And so <clears throat> you take this, this method that I created, and you'd also take the children that depend on it and abstract that out into a future builder. Um, this is a native script, or not a, this is a, a Flutter thing where you provide the future, so that was the function I, I brought up, and then you provide the builder, which takes in the, the builder context and the snapshots. But before we get to the builder, let me finish up with the future. So we take that function, and then we pass in the stream. So this could be its own function if you want to. I just threw it in here for the heck of it. Um, so I'm taking a stream of a double, and every uh, 50 milliseconds, I just return the, the feature I'm using, uh, which is the MIDI query. And then in the builder, you check if the snapshot, which is what this feature is returning, has any data, and then the snapshot that data is the actual data type. So this would be the float or the, the, the double that's there. And I just want to check to make sure that it's greater than zero, just in case. And if it is, go ahead and return um, the expected uh, widgets that depend on the media query. Um, and then if it doesn't, I just go ahead and return a regular container because it's blank. So this should help fix the problem. Um, it's it's a it's a pain. Like I wish they maybe there's another way to um, get this to to work without having to do this type of situation. But it seems like that's the only way you're gonna get around it at this time. And I'll I'll have the source code up on uh, a gist so you guys can you know look at it in the description down below.